They're right up here. Uh -huh. So what are they? What are they really? More, are they more of a partridge? Uh -huh. Yeah. Than a pheasant? Uh -huh. Yeah. But we've had the worst uh -huh. year of raising them ever. Uh -huh. uh, we'll hatch what, them out. What species of Franklin is that? Purple. Purple. Uh -huh. And th is there a difference between the males and females with those spurs on them? Yeah. Uh -huh. Do the males have two spurs or? Well, sometimes one. Uh -huh. Sometimes two. Uh -huh. And the females don't have any spurs, no. or they got nubs, or no, no spurs. In fact, he's on five eggs now. Oh, they lay the sleep in here. They lay. You never know when Urkel is going to lay. So what? What are they? What color? They're like a tan egg, or no? Just a light these pickled white egg. Are they uh, like a chalky egg, or no? But we we hatch them. They'll get about this big, and then we're losing. And I've cut them open and I find something different every time. I mean, I'm starting to cut open every damn bird that dies. Every one of them. So, where, where are they from? They're like from Asia or something? Or where is that from? Ask me. You know, they're over, I think, North Africa, more into the desert area. And of course, Hawaii has a bunch of them up there, too. Yeah. Where do they nest in the wild? In the ground? Or up on I'm, rocks or I'm pretty sure they would be nest in the ground. We we put nest boxes in all of our pens. And a lot of these things that people say, oh, they only nest on the ground and all that. Up in the nest box. In fact, we even had cheer that was nest in the nest box. But on peacock pheasant, I can put nest box in there. None of them use them except the rock sound. They'll use the box. And these, these things also, the brewers also use in this box? Well, no, normally they, they bury their eggs. Normally they use the, what I call the teepee, a tent. And then they bury them. Do you have any white ears? Nope. But if Tim keeps them going, we may end up with some damn white ears. <laughs> <laughs> but I love them. I love the box. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Nice. So, so where are these from? South, South Asia? Yeah. Like, like Borneo, Born, Sumatra, Borneo, Southern, so, Southern India? Yeah. Maybe. But even though we went down to zero last year, we only lost toes on one Siamese firebox. Now we did lose an old, old, old Malayan fireback. But he just died, mm -hmm. and I think it was stress. But he was about—he was about 35 years old. So, so is he nasty? Oh God! If I sent her in that in there, 
close the door behind when you attack? I, if I go to put fruit, if y'all aren't here, uh -huh. if I go to put fruit, uh -huh. he can act, he'll hit there and, that, and spur me uh -huh. through the dang wire. You ought to see me trying to get eggs. Now, I've got a hole, you see I cut a hole in the wire. Yep. So, so I can reach in there if she lays in the <laughs> nest box. But half the time she'll lay in the other thing. So how'd you do on them this year? You raised a lot of them? No. Enough to get, keep you going? Yeah. But it, that deep freeze just, everything you just... Shut, shut everything yeah. down. And then, a lot of birds, even though there was no noticeable frost bite on their feet, they limped yep. for about a month or more. You could not see anything wrong with their feet, but they limped. Yep. So it was just enough. Just a little bit of frostbite, yeah. but it didn't do deep damage. Yeah. Yep. So they had just some tingling sensation. Our crested guans. Oh, God. <laughs> We would catch there. them up and we would catch them up and wonder why are they still limping? You know, we'd look at their toes, nothing, but they would just limp and they'd sit down on them all the time. Well, now they're finally fine. Mm -hmm. it, it was scary. The, only, the only thing that you want to be concerned about is if they get another cold snap because you might have some yeah. damage you can see so it's a little more sensitive. If it goes down to zero again, we're loading up those guan and putting them somewhere. No, we're we're the only ones with these dang guan. Yeah. We're not. What do you got, three pairs on? Six. We got six pairs. And we, we raised one. But they right, actually there were some eggs in the nest when we went down to zero, but we didn't, we weren't, concerned about looking in nest boxes. We were trying yeah. to take care of everything. We were slight, we were putting up plastic, we were we were going nuts. Yep. Well I'm nuts already. And I've gotten rid of gray jungle fowl. Guess who's got gray jungle fowl again? <laughs> got rid got rid of all the dang copper pheasants. What do we have? More copper what pheasants. Kind of coppers, yeah. Scintillating and Summary. No, no Egyptian coppers. Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> so you're gonna, next time but, we come, you're gonna have this all filled. But here's the other thing. deal. I tell Tim, I don't want one pair of something. No, yeah, we're you going need that too. Two pair or three pair or five pair or five pair or six <laughs> to court. I mean, if you only have one pair of everything, you're one you're one, a, you're one, a, one bird away from you're a, <laughs> from being you're a collector. <laughs> if you have two or three. You can be a breeder. Yep. And we'll probably end up having to turn down some of these and Well, we, we've actually, you know, along that same line of thought, we, um, we're pushing for at least five pairs or more of everything just because, you know. And if you don't have five pairs, okay, yeah. one year you may have four pairs that won't even produce. Or you lose three males. And then you back to your yeah. four, four, four males and you're back to your one pair again. <laughs> now this is a Bornean yeah. crested fireback. Yeah, if you notice there's always a the broom by each one of those kids. So, so on these birds, I, I know Pheasant breeders uh, and, and other types of breeders are um, notorious for hybridization. But have these been hybridized with like the Siamese fire bats? No, no, no. But now on the Borneo, there used to be greater Borneo and lesser Borneo. Uh -huh. Okay, now in the United States we have Borneo. This Borneo, because they mixed, they did mix yeah, with yeah. subspecies. And what about the crestless fire bats? There's not enough pressure to swap back. Well, would they get mixed in with any of these things? No. Usually when there's something this good, people don't mix them up. Unfortunately, they've done it with the track band. Right. Yep. There's a bunch of satyrs out there that are not pure satyrs. Right. Well, you, you don't even see many of them anymore either. So. Yep. There's 
probably why they started hybridizing because they had a head here and they just said, oh, you see, well, they have, Somebody has one pair of this and one pair of that. They lose the male on one and the female on the other one, so they put the two together because they kind of look alike. Yeah. Uh, we were up at Ron's there a couple weeks ago, Ron uh, Johnson. He's got some really nice looking traders and I haven't seen them. I haven't seen that in years. Oh, I, I, I tried them once or twice.